<clears throat> so in the last video we looked at um, adjustments, hue saturation adjustments. Oh, there goes my cat in the background. Nice. Um, so in this one I'm going to introduce a black and white um, adjustment and I'm going to show you something called a curves adjustment, which is kind of cool. So the whole point is to grab um, this picture that says globe JPEG and we're basically going to turn um, everything black and white except for the globe. And we're going to keep that color, which is a nice cool effect. So in order to do that, again, um, in order to make a selection here, I'm actually going to use my quick selection tool. Okay. Um, so in the past videos, I've shown you um, that we've used this elliptical marquee tool to make selections. Um, this lasso tool is kind of a free draw tool. And this quick selection tool, is kind of, it, it almost like works like a magnet. Um, so it'll work really well just to select this globe. Okay. So notice up here, <clears throat> when I'm on my quick selection tool, uh, when I'm on the plus sign, it basically means I'm going to add or select something, and this is basically your deselect, and then this is your brush size right here. Okay, so um, I'm going to go go ahead and click and draw over the globe, and notice how it has a nice little snapping effect to it. Um, and what I'm basically going to do is add something called a black and white adjustment layer. Okay, and if you click on adjustment layers, you'll see black and white up here. It's also if you um, click on the adjustment tab right above your layers, um, you'll see something called black and white right here, third one, second sh second um, row down. So go ahead and hit that. All right, and notice how it kind of turns everything black and white except for the globe, which is not ideal, not kind of what I want. So I'm actually going to hit this little mask button up here in properties, and you'll see this button that says invert. All right, and when um, you are using the invert or use the inverse of something, you're using the opposite of something. So it's going to turn everything black and white except for the globe, which is a nice, really, really cool effect. Okay, so next up, we're going to do something called a curves adjustment. A curves adjustment is really cool. You can kind of think of it as um, kind of like an S-curve kind of deal to where you can kind of bring in more light to your picture or hide in more light to your picture. So a curves adjustment, it literally looks like a bar graph up here. And if you actually click on curves adjustment, you'll get a um, properties panel that will allow you to kind of click and drag and make certain adjustments in your actual picture. Okay, and it's called a, you can, you, you can kind of make it look like an S-curve. Um, so you can see it's bringing in more contrast. Uh, the lower it gets and the higher it gets, it's bringing in more brightness. Um, it's a tricky tool to use, and it's a really easy tool to kind of mess up, all right? So um, check this out. Notice how over here, my entire adjustment panel is white. Again, white reveals black conceal, so it's doing this to the entire picture, which is not cool. Um, let's hit our mask button over here and let's say invert. So now you can't see anything. Notice how over here it turned black. So here's the cool part. Now I can kind of control a little bit more um, as, as far as like what my S curve is actually bringing in or showing. All right, as far as contrast and brightness and stuff like that. All right, so um, I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool here. I'm going to go um, click and make sure that white is in my foreground color here. Um, with my paintbrush nice and big um, and my hardness um, set to nothing, um, I'm going to go ahead and paint just kind of on top of the globe. Okay, notice how it's bringing in a lot of brightness all at the same time. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and step backwards here. That's because my opacity is set to 100. Let's drop that to like 50. That means um, when the opacity is dropped to about 50, that means it's not going to bring in so much brightness, but it is going to bring in more brightness the more that I click on it. Um, so right now I'm kind of doing a whole drag kind of thing. Um, so once I get a nice um, brush, a, a nice brightness around my entire globe here, I'll show you that I can make it even brighter. Probably not what I want to do. All right. So, um, like, look up here or down here, and, uh, you know, the more I click and drag, the brighter it's going to get, all right? So now I have to step backwards a few hundred times. All right, um, so again, with my, um, step backwards one more time, one more time. With my foreground set to white, I can kind of use my paintbrush to bring out the parts of the picture that I kind of want to. So my opacity is set to 51. Let's say I want to bring out a little bit more of him. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go over his skin and lighten him up a little bit so that he stands out from the rest of the background a little bit. 
Um, again, Photoshop, guys, it just gives you so much power at your fingertips, it's a little crazy. Um, so you can kind of see here, as I paint over him, I'm actually revealing more of the mask in the background. Okay, so we're just kind of literally lightening him up a little bit. Um, you know. And just take a nice steady hand and lighten him up. Okay. And you can make your brushes bigger or smaller up there. Um, okay. He's a little splotchy down here. He's a little ashy. Okay, there. Um, so it kind of, you know, let's say you want to bring out a little bit of this hand too and make this a little bit lighter. Go ahead. You know, you can bring out um, different parts of the picture that you want to. Okay, so if you um, kind of look over here now, you can kind of see the mask <clears throat> that's been applied here with the curves adjustment. You can see the parts that I've actually colored in, okay, because it has um, kind of revealed. Again, everything that's black is concealed. Everything that's white over here is revealed, um, which is kind of cool. All right, so again, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, like, I'm going to bring out a little bit more light into the picture here, or at least the globe anyway. I'm going to do another curves adjustment here to the whole thing. Um, it's like a curve adjustment on top of a curve adjustment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and raise my bar, paying attention to where the light is coming in um, at the globe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say invert again. And one more time, I'm going to grab my paintbrush. I'm going to make my paintbrush a little bit bigger this time so I don't have to go over the same thing a hundred times. There. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of paint around the globe. Just bringing in light where I want to actually bring in the light too. All right. And um, that's about it. You can bring in a little bit more light to him if you'd like to. Um, you know, just to make things a little bit brighter. Still going to be black and white. Still going to retain that black and white kind of cool effect with, you know, one thing being color. Um, but I think uh, that's it for this particular picture. So um, in this picture, we went over um, black and white um, adjustment layers. We went over curves adjustment layer, which is kind of like bringing in light. Uh, again, we used our foreground and background layer to paint in um, the parts of the mask that we actually wanted to see um, to give ourselves a nice little black and white effect. So go ahead and save this if you haven't already. File, save as. Make sure you select your student numbers. And uh, I'll see you in the next video where we go over some more mass and adjustment layers.